my classic rack of lamb, I'm doing herb crusted uh, with mm. gratin potatoes and green beans and then this lovely Madeira sauce. Fantastic. Well, my classic is obviously whole roasted rack of lamb, beautiful fondant potatoes, peas pudding, Ooh. and some glazed baby carrots. Kenny kicks off his classic dish with the sauce au jus for his lamb. In this pan, Lisa, I've got some lamb trimmings with some carrots and some shallots. Lovely. I'm going to add just a whole clove of garlic, a sprig of rosemary. So we want that rosemary flavour. Rosemary lamb is just a, an, an absolute marriage made in heaven, really. A little bit more to puree, just to bring, to bring the whole thing together and also uh, sweeten up the sauce a little bit. Lovely. That's very lovely. fresh tomatoes. Literally just de-seeded. This will add a natural acidity to the sauce, stop from going bitter. And I've got a few white peppercorns going to go there as well. A little bit of red wine. Good quality drink and red wine. Whilst the wine reduces, Kenny makes a start on his peas pudding. Got shallots, garlic, sweated down in a little bit of butter. To that, he adds smoked streaky bacon. Classic combination. Yeah. And green split peas that have been soaked overnight. Chicken stock. And that is it, Lisa. Stir that in, and we're going to bring it up to the boil and just slowly reduce it down until the peas, the butter, mm -hmm. the stock will all emulsify together. Lovely. And you will get a nice, thick peas pudding. With the peas pudding cooking away, it's time for Kenny's fondant potatoes. He starts by cutting his potatoes into rounds. So the fondant potato is actually a very classic thing, isn't it? It's, it's, it's more roast, it's roast yeah. potatoes. You know, we're just doing a, what we're in the Russian, fondant potatoes. Exactly. Cool butter. So what we want to do, just lay the potatoes on top, thyme, good pinch of salt. Lovely. A couple of half cloves of garlic. Onto a heat. Then what I want to do, Lisa, is bring that butter up to a foaming point. Yep. And get the base of the potatoes nice and golden. Mm -hmm. We want to flip them over, add a touch of water, and just keep slowly braising them until uh, the potatoes are just about cooked. Whilst his potatoes cook, Kenny adds some lamb stock to the base of his sauce, which is now reduced, and then it's time to prepare the rack of lamb. For me, rack of lamb, cooking at home, is perfect. It's got this elegant look about it. You know, when, it, when it's go. roasted, the lovely bones that stick out. It's presentation, it's a bit it's... of a wow factor. He lightly scores the fat, seasons it with salt and pepper, then sears the rack on all sides in a hot pan, making sure it gets nice and golden brown all over. Right, Lisa, that is roasting up nicely. It's got a lovely colour on that. It is. It? But what I want to do, Lisa, quickly, is just tin foil the bones. I want to keep them bones nice and clean if I can. And what I'm going to do is just hold them up like that. Let's get a bit of tin foil. Another presentation secret, isn't it? It is, because there's nothing worse when them bones are black and yeah. burns. Tim again, back skin side down. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, garlic in there, Lisa. Yep. That'll help flavour the fat and some rosemary in there as well. Lovely. Kenny's lamb goes into the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. Then he just has to turn his fondant potatoes. Butter's nice and foamy. Potatoes are nice and golden. And it's over to Lisa to get cracking with her rack of lamb. So basically, with this lamb, because we're putting a herb crust on it, I'm taking the fat off completely. Yeah. Just so that the crust will go really crispy and you won't get that fat coming yeah. through it. Once the fat has been removed, Lisa seasons the lamb with salt and pepper. Then put it into a hot pan, just for like two or three minutes, just to seal it. Once golden brown, it needs to rest while Lisa gets on with the herb crust. Using fresh white bread crumbs. In the food processor, she blitzes sliced white bread into crumbs and adds some herbs. In the mixer so far, I've got the, the chervil and the parsley, mm -hmm. and then just a little bit of thyme in there as well. Just a tiny bit of salt. OK, so if you see in there that the herbs are all, mm. you know, incorporated into the breadcrumbs now, going a lovely green colour. So I'll stop it off her. She then leaves the breadcrumbs to dry out slightly. So why are you going to dry them out, Lisa? It helps them because um, you don't want a big clump to go on the back right. of the rack. So for me, it's just to dry the bread out a little bit so you can start even coating over the lamb. Right, okay. The last thing you want is in one area a big mass of breadcrumbs and then the other one none at all. To serve with the lamb, I'm going to do a gratin potato. So in here I've got cream, milk and garlic. Yeah. And I'm just going to finish it off with a little bit of nutmeg and some black pepper. What I've done is just brought it to the boil and let the garlic infuse into the cream. Lisa uses a mandolin to get nice, even slices of potato. Be sure to always use a guard at home. She seasons the slices with salt and starts layering them in the pot. OK, so the cream and milk mix that we brought mm. to the boil, just going to pour it over your potatoes. And just let that trickle all the way down. The... Yeah, this goes right into the middle. What you want to do is make sure that it's all really incorporated well yeah. into the dish. 
give it a good press down. So what I do is, before I put them in the oven, is just foil the top. Mm -hmm. Just because you don't want that cream to brown too early. Yeah. And then for the last 10 minutes of cooking, we'll just take the foil off it. All right, so just give them a... Put it on there, like, four minute tent. The gratin goes into the oven at 130 degrees for 35 minutes. Meanwhile, it's time to herb crust the lamb. So we take a little bit of Dijon mustard. You can use any mustard. Mm. I tend for the uh, Dijon because it's a little bit milder mm. than English. All right, make sure you coat it, you know, quite well. And that locked as a, an agent for the, the crumb to stick to as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. So just roll back and forth. But the main part of this bit is, is to make sure that you've got a really mm. even crust onto it. Once the lamb has an even coating of herb crust, Lisa also covers the bones in foil to prevent burning and gets it in the oven. About 12 to 14 minutes. Yeah. Again, it's preferable, isn't it, to what you want it cooked. You want it medium or people mm. like it a little bit more well done. Yeah, ideally pink in it is the best way to cook yeah, it. Yeah, I think so. You can't be a bit of pink lamb, Kenny. Yeah, exactly. Kenny is convinced his rack of lamb with peas pudding and fondant potatoes will blow the judges away. While Lisa thinks her herb-crusted rack of lamb with gratin potatoes and Madeira sauce is a surefire winner. But which classic dish will our judges think is perfect? 